Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 2nd of May 1946, the Battle of Alcatraz began when six armed inmates attempted to escape from the Federal Penitentiary. Bank robber Bernard Coy arrived at Alcatraz in 1938, where he was made a cell house orderly. This gave him a certain amount of freedom to move around the cell block, and over time he began to notice flaws in the prison's security procedures. The cells were overlooked by a gun gallery manned by armed officers. On the 2nd of May 1946, Coy and fellow inmate Marvin Hubbard overpowered floor guard William Miller and beat him unconscious, while the armed officer on duty was on another part of his patrol. Using Miller's keys, they then released Joseph Kretzer and Clarence Carnes. Coy then climbed up to the gun gallery, which was protected by bars spaced approximately five inches apart. Using a roughly fashioned device made in one of the prison workshops from spare toilet fittings, he then set about widening the space between two bars and managed to squeeze through the resulting gap. Having knocked out the armed guard on his return, Coy lowered weapons to his accomplices. He then threatened another guard with a rifle, enabling the conspirators to reunite and prepare to escape through the door to the prison yard. However, they were unable to locate the correct key and found themselves with no way out. As the situation became increasingly desperate, Kretzer shot into the cells containing the hostages, one of whom later died. Meanwhile, the authorities prepared to re-establish control. Equipped with machine guns, grenades and mortars, a combined force of prison guards, police and the military launched an aggressive attack. By the time they entered the building for the final time on the morning of the 4th of May, two prison officers and three perpetrators lay dead. 